Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Huawei has been established for more than 36 years. Compared with established companies in Europe and the United States, this age is still an immature child, but for Chinese companies, it is already considered a giant in the industry. The difference lies in the proportion of core technologies. Long-term technological suppression by Western countries, the water chestnut of many Chinese companies has long been smoothed out, and then they gave up the idea of independent research and development. Adhering to the thinking of making is worse than buying, buying is worse than renting, so that China's technology industry continues to grow the downturn, but fortunately, Huawei's persistence has completely awakened the Chinese people. Withstood four rounds of suppression in total, Huawei survived the crisis in 2022 and ushered in the return of the king in 2023. Recently, Meng Wanzhou once again officially announced the good news at the Global Analysis Conference. 267 of the world's top 500 companies have chosen Huawei was involved, involving an output value of 23 trillion yuan. Huawei officially ushered in the dawn. After Qualcomm resumed the supply of 4G chips, Huawei's mobile phone business has ushered in the dawn again. Although it lost the Kirin chip and 5G functions, Huawei has used scientific and technological sincerity to restore the hearts of consumers. Upgrades and more than 60% of localized components make Huawei mobile phones as popular as Apple's new iPhones. After successfully opening up the domestic supply chain, the stunning Mate 50, P60, Mate X3 and other flagship phones have been launched one after another, each of which has become the target of snapping, and Huawei's pace of self-reliance has never stopped. The 5G technology developed by the company has successfully opened the 5G to be era, accepted orders from all over the world, and accelerated the research and development of 6G. In addition, major breakthroughs have also been made in the field of chips, successfully realizing the localization of EDA software above 14 nanometers, and completing the domestic alternative research and development of 13,000 components and 4,000 circuit boards. Domestic companies have completed the research and development of 5G radio frequency chips. The 5G function of the phone will also usher in the return soon. In the past year, the most exciting thing for Huawei was the return of Meng Wanzhou. After staying in Canada for 1,028 days, she has become a qualified successor. Ren Jingfei also confidently handed over the company to Meng Wanzhou and officially took over the position of rotating chairman on April 1, 2023. After taking office as the supreme commander of Huawei, Meng Wanzhou faced a lot of pressure. The Biden team tried to start the fifth round of suppression, upgrading the restricted areas to 4G, Wi-Fi, high-performance computers, etc., the Netherlands has formulated a tripartite agreement, and this is obviously aimed at Huawei's chip supply chain. Meng Wanzhou, on the other hand, showed the demeanor of women don't give way to men, released an internal document of living to death, and even made a promise to not refuse a business trip to the United States. At the Huawei Global Analyst Conference in 2023, Meng Wanzhou brought good news again, and Huawei successfully broke the deadlock. Meng Wanzhou officially announced, in 2026, the total expenditure 
on global digital transformation will exceed 3.4 trillion US dollars. Huawei has a major advantage in this field, and 5G to be business is one of the key ways of digital transformation, and it is one of the top 500 global companies. Among them, 267 companies have chosen to cooperate with Huawei. How can Huawei gain favor? The output value of digital transformation in 2026 will exceed the 23 trillion yuan mark, and Huawei has already taken the initiative in its hands. The reason why so many industry giants choose to embrace Huawei is very clear. Huawei has created a new road with its strength. Path of According to the public financial report, Huawei's total revenue in 2022 is close to that of 2021, but its R&D investment has increased from 120 billion to 160 billion. Situation In terms of digital talents, Huawei has deployed 2,200 ICT colleges around the world and has cultivated a large number of digital talents. As the most competitive industry in the future, talents in all aspects are needed, such as mathematicians and physics. Experts, materials scientists, etc. are indispensable. Compared with American companies, Huawei's international reputation has become a gold-lettered signboard. Enterprises that dare to take out their own 5G technology and conduct a comprehensive analysis to European countries to prove their technical security may be on a global scale. Really can't find another one. The UK once threatened to completely dismantle Huawei's equipment, but now it has backtracked, constantly delaying the dismantling time and publicly admitting that the suspension of cooperation with Huawei is due to pressure from the United States. Today, Huawei's 5G base stations contain insufficient technology from the United States. 1% The United States has long been helpless. In this game of digital transformation, Huawei has already taken advantage. Choosing to cooperate with Huawei is choosing the future. Among the world's top 500 companies, 267 companies have chosen to embrace Huawei, which is enough to explain the problem. What are you guys doing? What do you think?